Jesus, the angel, the devil, and his demons remain in Gethsemane. And Satan says, The Ten Commandments are so old-fashioned. They're not even relevant anymore. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not covet, and now thou shalt have charity. Nobody even understands this word, charity. The angel says, Charity is the pure love of Christ. It is the greatest attribute of all. Satan retorts, I am tiring of you, Michael. Jesus Christ, just send him away now. He cannot handle what is happening in Gethsemane tonight. Jesus responds, I will not send him away. He is an angel of God, and he is my friend. For he is like unto the woman at Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper. She, having an alabaster jar of very costly fragrant oil, and she poured it on my head and anointed me as I sat at the table. And those that were with me said, Why this waste? For this fragrant oil might have been sold for much and given to the poor. Send her away. And then said I, For in pouring this fragrant oil on my head, she did it for my burial. For she only did believe that I would soon die, and three days later would take up my glorified body once again. The devil says, Oh, so you are to die soon. And Jesus, ignoring Satan, says, My beloved Mary, I see you in my mind's eye. You are one who allows me to focus on joy while I am here in Gethsemane, and I thank you for that. And my angel friend Michael here is another. Satan, you have asked me to send the archangel away, just as I did not send Mary Magdalene from me in Bethany. I will not yet send my angel friend away now. Michael, I know that you are in pain and anguish because of what you are seeing here in Gethsemane. Remember, all that is good comes from God and invites you to do good continually. Satan responds, Oh, and I suppose all that which is evil comes from me, the devil. Yes, yes, I am an enemy to God and I will fight against him for eternity. I will entice all his children to sin and to do evil continually. Jesus says, Take heed that you do not think that which is evil to be of God, or that which is good and of God to be of you, the devil. For this is how the devil operates today. He does not convince anyone to do good. No, not one single person. Neither do his fallen spirits, nor those who willingly align with him. And now, how do you attain every good thing? Then Satan sullenly says, I suppose you're going to say that God knows all and that he determines what is good or bad, right? And Jesus answers, God, in his foreknowledge, sent angels to the earth, like Michael here, and my beloved Mary Magdalene to minister and to testify concerning my coming. For it is through me that comes every good thing. Then the devil interrupts. Or what, otherwise all are fallen? This is our chance, my evil angels. Let us be rid of this archangel. Let us not allow Jesus, the so-called Christ, to think of his beloved Mary Magdalene. Again, get into his mind. Then Jesus calls out to the angel, Michael, Michael, it is by faith in me that you become the sons and daughters of God. Pray to the Father now, for if you have faith in me, you will cleave unto every good thing. Listen, O you ends of the earth. It is time to change your ways and turn to me, embrace my teachings, be baptized in my name, and put your trust in me so that you can find salvation. Then Satan gleefully says, Oh, but Lord, all of your work here is in vain, for miracles will cease. When you and your apostles soon die, all miracles on this earth will stop, and there will be no more.
The devil laughs almost imperceptibly, and Jesus says, Once again, the great liar speaks a truth and a lie. The meek and the lowly of heart will have hope and will have faith in me. And after there is a hope and a faith in me, then they will have charity. And charity is patient and kind, is not envious or proud. It does not seek its own interest and is not easily angered and does not think evil, for charity does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but finds joy in the truth. It bears all things, hopes for all good things, and endures all things. Charity is my pure love.